this is the reason. What was my reason? Bro, did you see that video? So somebody tried to. <laughs> 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 somebody tried to. <laughs> Takeover gang, it's your girl Mike. And it's your boy Daniel here. And we are back with another MD Takeover video. Yes, but before we get into this video, make sure you stop what you're doing, like this video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button if you're new to our channel. Welcome to the Takeover Gang. We have new content we out every Tuesday and Thursday, and you don't want to miss it. While you edit, make sure you go ahead and share this video with somebody else because yeah. if y'all not watching us, then who y'all watching? Exactly. Well just... You need to subscribe. That part. That part. So, today we are making some chili, y'all. It's look, let me tell you something. It done set up there and got cold outside. Okay, and I looked look. at my brother, I said, Baby, you need to make your chili because <laughs> I am cold and I need something to warm me up. Child. Look, I don't have a cutty buddy. Well, then you don't have a cutty buddy. Let <laughs> 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 me put my beast something like that. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. If you're single for the holidays and you're looking to mingle, just go ahead and mingle with them pots. Okay, and, and make, make this chili. chili. <laughs> okay, because that's what we about to do. For real. I done already started chopping these vegetables because, y'all, it's a lot to chop. So, oh. I'm going to finish chopping these vegetables and we're going to see y'all back in a minute. All right. All right, y'all, so we're back. I'm about to start this chili. So I have Linda. Y'all remember Linda, our old friend Linda. We're gonna go ahead and get Linda in here. I got some extra virgin. That's that organic, that, that first cold pressed olive oil. Mm -hmm. Y'all know olive oil. So I'm gonna put like about a, a tablespoon or two. Yeah, I'm gonna put two because we got a lot of vegetables. Two tablespoons in there. Also, two. I just want to let y'all know. So this chili is not my recipe. I can't claim. I can't claim the ownership of it. But I found this recipe like two or three years ago, and I've been using it ever since. But it's a healthy turkey chili. So this not one of them chilies. It's gonna have you on the toilet. You're not gonna be <coughs> gassy. <coughs> You're gonna be slim and trim and, and fit and ready for the fall. Okay. So we are gonna go on and get y'all y'all healthy. So right, they smell good. So I'm gonna let this all heat up. I'm gonna tell you about these vegetables. Y'all know I love and the vegetables. And get you a glass of wine while hey. you cook. Come hey. on, come, look. A nice Sauvignon Blanc. Mm -hmm. yep. But, um, so as far as vegetables, we got a lot of vegetables. So you're gonna have two medium onions. You got two medium onions, you have two bell peppers. You have, uh, I put three, the recipe calls for which I'll link in the description. It calls for two stalks of celery. I went ahead and put three. Uh, I went ahead and put three carrots, and then um, there's some garlic in here. I just did the rest of the garlic that we had because you can't never have too much garlic. And it was no. And then one thing that I like to do too, I started doing last year with my chili, is I cut up and I put a sweet potato in there. And I know what y'all think of uh, sweet potato and chili. Look, don't knock it till you try it. Because once it cooks all the way down, it just gets. I can't even describe it. It just it just be delectable. The, yeah, the spectrum, the velocity of the, the magnitude. Velocity of the, the magnitude of the spectrum. You can't even much taste like, the sweet potato in the chicken. Right, it just tastes like, mm-hmm. So we're gonna go on home and get all these vegetables in here. I got this olive oil on a good uh, medium high heat. And we're gonna let this cook down for about five to seven minutes, you know. Going on and get all that in there. Spend all that time chopping all the vegetables, so I'm gonna get every last piece of it in there. You heard me? That's a lot of vegetables. But it's gonna cook down. And like I said, there's no beans and stuff in here, so this is gonna add some, um, you know, some extra protein, some extra calories. You got a lot of fiber in there. And with that, y'all know me, one thing, I season it every step. So I'm gonna go on, I'm going on. I'm gonna add a little sea salt. Y'all know that seasoning cabinet is packed. Right, I'm gonna add a little sea salt at this point, and I'm gonna add a little pepper. Hold on, baby, that that boy, I don't know what you know, it just popped in my head. What popped? 
quick. It's me not even knowing the thing. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little uh, regulated onion powder too. And just cause you can't never have too much garlic, I'm gonna add a little garlic powder in there too. This is our first step of seasoning. You know, I season that every step. Your food is seasoned. Okay. Properly. Well seasoned. Come on. Yeah. And this chili, this is a good family recipe. You know, if you got a lot of cheering, if you got like three, four, five, six cheering, make this recipe. You know, some people eat their chili with rice. Why would you do that? Why would you? Why would you do that? It's not a god. Chili and rice. Mm -hmm. Well, then again, I ain't gonna tell people because you know sometimes. Chili can be expensive depending on all the stuff you put in there. So if you're trying to stretch it, rice is inexpensive. Okay, I ain't gonna do y'all. I, I see. I ain't gonna do it. Also, <laughs> one thing that That's I like a to lot do. Of store. Right, one thing I like to do, look, them little shavings from your vegetables, baby. Keep them. Put that in some water with a little seasoning and a little herb. You got you some vegetable stock. Stop going to them people's store and spending money you don't have to spend. If you got this and you got some water, you can make you some vegetable stock. If you got you some chili powder and some cumin, along with some paprika and some cayenne, that's taco seasoning. Save your money bag. Anyway. Because <laughs> um, I'm good to go to the store. I, I know you are. And then this, we have two pounds of that lean ground turkey. You want to have the 93% um, lean and 7% fat because you don't need all that fat. You already got olive oil in there. You don't need no more of that. Um, if you're using beef, don't. Just don't do that. Don't do That's it. That's nasty. Don't it's do that. God. I wonder what Mary thought about the lamb. Girl, I, <laughs> I thought, <laughs> that reminded me of a video that I saw. Um, and it was like when you take your, uh, when you take your ghetto friend to a bougie restaurant and <laughs> One of the things they had was uh, lamb chops. So she said, I said, like, ooh, girl, this is the lamb Mary had. <laughs> I was weak. I need to go watch this thing. Because maybe Mary didn't have a lamb. Maybe Mary had a little dog where she came from. So, no, when Mary in them days back then, she probably had them all. She probably had a dog, a lamb, a, a lot goat, of cattle. some chicken. So I probably had some camels and stuff, too. <laughs> I mean, that's how they got around. She had to. Look, how y'all how think she got to Bethlehem so she can give birth to the little baby Jesus? On a donkey? Mm -mm, it was a donkey. I thought it was a camel. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go back and read my word. <laughs> y'all know they're talking about a camel. She might have had one of them two on a leash. <laughs> yeah, that's a big old animal to have on a leash. <laughs> so you be trying to walk the camel, yeah. the camel be walking the camel you. be walking me. Especially me, I ain't that big, bro. Uh, mm -hmm. It's starting to get a little translucent. Mm -hmm. Bro, did you see that video? So somebody tried to. <laughs> <laughs> somebody tried to. <laughs> no, it was a video with Fantasia, and um, somebody was singing some kind of uh, eyes up here, baby. So somebody was singing something and she like joined in and some stuff. Oh, and you was actually on key. Yeah. <laughs> so because you know you be preaching sometimes. She goes, oh. she goes to myself. I almost like to cut you out. <laughs> if it don't come for me and my infidelity to the keys. Okay. Because sometimes, listen, sometimes I gotta slide up in that thing or slide down. Okay, I'm trying to tell you, look, the Lord ain't make me perfect and neither did he make my notes. Hmm. Alright, so this is starting to look all nice and lovely. I'm going to go on and uh, put that turkey up on up in here. Come on up Come in on. here. Try <laughs> using my head. Trying to look one of these things, the turkey's still frozen, but we ain't going to talk about it. Um, and you know you're in a black home when you see the cast iron to the, to the bag. To the bag. We ain't got no early enough. So go on, on and break up your turkey. Mm. Yeah. Before y'all get mad and say he, he should have put the meat in there before he put the vegetables in there, what you got to say to him? 
no, because it's this is the reason. What was the reason? Because <laughs> this is this is ground turkey. So ground turkey is not gonna have as much fat as mm -hmm. um, as beef, and also I got the lean. So this is only 7% fat. So the mm -hmm. fat that's going to be in here, you want that. That's going to be mm -hmm. richness and mm -hmm. sabor. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say this in mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's going to be flavor. Mm -hmm. So you want all of that up in there. So wow. baby, push your mouth mm -hmm. and mind your business. Mm -hmm. If you want to put your meat in there first and then mm -hmm. drain it off, that's your business. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I'm going to mind mine. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all for the people. That's all. Mm -hmm. Tonight I sat up here and got warm in the spiritual realm. But you all over the stove. Mm -hmm. Over a pot. Mm -hmm. Mixing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just touched the helm of the um, spoon. Mm -hmm. So maybe I can even touch. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear that, boo <laughs> So while that's cooking, I'm gonna tell y'all about the seasons that we're gonna put in here. Again, instead of, save that 99 cents. If you think about it, every time you make tacos or chili, or tacos and chili, anything else they use taco seasoning, save that, because baby, just right there, if you make it twice a year, that's $4. I mean, four times a year, that's $4. Save it. So what I have here, my seasoning, I have three tablespoons of chili powder. I have one tablespoon of cumin, ground cumin. I have here um, one teaspoon of paprika, smoked paprika, preferably. One teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and then one teaspoon of red chili pepper flakes. You know, you may have to, you may have to do a little maneuvering around and add a little more. Or maybe if you know you taste it, you make it the first time, and it's a little too much chili powder for you. Just you know, take it put two. You need to be tasting your food as you cook. Okay, but just after your meat is cooked, <clears throat> but we don't mm -hmm. need salmonella. Mm -hmm. And besides that, you know, I gotta add my Tony Satchery and stuff like that because that's just you got to. If you're not cooking with Tony Satchery, baby, what are you doing? Yeah, mm -hmm. that, ain't, that, ain't. Mm -hmm. that ain't what the Lord had. Mm -hmm. I had to, we had ran out of Tony's the other week. Till I had to get so creative on how I was gonna make that food taste the way I wanted it to taste. Cause you know, Tony's just got that, it's a distinct flavor. And I made it work. The, the, the fish came out good, but it just wasn't the same. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna be a lot. I, I know, I sat up there and was sitting up there and, and was sitting up there and, and looking. Mm -hmm. Y'all want some chili, just call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> then you're still saying call Tyrone. Okay. Also, take over game. Let us get y'all's input. So, Maya and I are flirting with the idea of doing a little holiday special. Mm -hmm. We're not going to say too much about it because, mm -hmm. you know, if we told y'all too much, we might have to. Then we'll do that. But in the comments below, leave. Um, some suggestions or some ideas of things that y'all would like to see um, or some things that like maybe your family does that we could try. Cause you know, our family has our traditions and y'all's family have y'all's traditions, but y'all are family. So we gotta, you know, we gotta come we together. We gotta show these traditions together. For real. So we have our ideas of things that we may wanna, um, you know, share with you guys. But if y'all have anything that y'all want us to try, please, 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 please leave it down in the comments below and we are gonna try to get to them, all right? On a public service announcement. Mm -hmm. If you know your family can't cook, <laughs> don't you get up there in them comments. Baby, just call us and we gonna sing your plate, okay? <laughs> Baby, just just to suggest something that you would like to see us cook, not nothing that your family can't cook. Just, okay? just, just send us what it is. Don't don't send us the recipe. We'll we'll make our own. Cause some of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to my brother. Anyway. Hey, this is a plethora. We're gonna be eating well all week long. Oh. I'm not gonna lie though, that's one thing with chili. Like, what you gonna say? A good chili, I can eat all week long. Anything. I just don't, I just can't get tired of it. Cause especially a chili like this, cause like I said, it's not gonna upset your stomach. It's not gonna clog your arteries because we don't put all that sodium in there. You don't have that red meat that's hard for you to digest. Sodium, sodium, no sodium. We don't need no clogged arteries, you know? 
You don't have beans. It's a very, it's still very hearty because you have your turkey, which turkey doesn't have as much protein as your beef, but then you got the potatoes in there. You have all those vegetables. So it's still very much a hearty um, chili, but it's just not like, you know, like sometimes you eat a chili, it's like, <clears throat> just like punchy and a good, mm, I don't need all that. Wendy's. <clears throat> and Ty, you used to go get it three, four I times a year. I still go get it, cause it be good. I'm not gonna still go get it. I ain't had it in a long time. I was gonna say, child, Wendy's, a, Wendy's got a spirit on it. <laughs> I can't deal with Wendy and her spirit. Mm -mm. That's, mm -mm. With them two pigtails. Uh, it's, it's the reason why Wendy got red hair. So I saw Wendy got, uh, what, she got some, some habanero nuggets or something like that she that came out with. What's that husband, Burger King? I think that was you thinking about Burger King with oh. them ghost peppers. Oh. <sighs> I ain't seen Wendy in a long time. Child, last time I went to Wendy's, I got a salad and it tasted like water. I said, you know what? How is it? That ain't what the Lord had for you, I don't think. It, it wasn't, child. It wasn't. I was just hungry. And kept you doing all that, mm -hmm. that, that stuff I used to do. I ain't do. seen Wendy since I worked in Hammond. Wendy. It wasn't that long ago. It was long, long enough. <laughs> <laughs> it was long enough. Child, don't you know I can see clearly now? The mm. rain is gone. I know. And I saw the rainbow. Uh, was it a single or a double? It's a double. Child, you know I love a good double. Me too. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Salute. Mm hmm. Y'all, we're getting there on this here turkey. It's a lot, so you got to give it time to um, para cocinar. Para cocinar. You know what would be funny? If one day we did a cooking video and like, I make you cook it, but I tell you the instructions, but I only tell you in Spanish. Ooh, that'd be funny because that'd I ain't be. gonna know what the hell he talking about, but I'm gonna yeah. be sitting up there, sitting up there. <laughs> <laughs> you already be sitting up there, sitting up there. Child, look, let me tell you something. The reason why I don't be cooking on camera all the time often because I don't know how to explain what I be doing. Y'all see how Daniel just explains stuff so eloquently. Baby, I'll be like, look, let me tell you something. Baby, you get this, and you get that, and you throw it in the pot. I bet. Child, that's just, <laughs> I, have, I have years of experience in the industry, you know, from watching the Food Network that I've been trained and trained well. You know, I used to Food watch Network, that Food Network, Network Star. Mm -hmm. So, I, I've been trained. I have yeah, my... I just, I, I know a, how to cook. I just, I can't explain to you what I'm doing. Just, I have a master's degree in being a... Uh, a food personality, a TV personality. And you like worked in the restaurant. Industry. That is true. I did work in the restaurant. You ain't just the training people. Y'all, and I hope you're watching this. I don't know if you subscribe to our channel. A, a friend of mine, he was um, he was the kitchen manager when I worked at a restaurant. So I was a manager and like I knew how to work the kitchen, but I had never like worked a full shift in the kitchen. So the first shift that I worked in the kitchen, like as a cook, cook, even though I was a manager, I was an island manager. I had to train somebody. And I said... But who trained me? How to train somebody and I ain't even trained. But I, I still ended up being a better trainer than most of the other people. Oh. We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we're getting somewhere. <clears throat> I still feel a, a, a warmth in my spirit. It's just like, wow. I mean, that may be because you have this sweater on. That's for y'all time, baby. Before y'all time, look like it. Mama say, you don't understand it better by and by. By and by, and we, I, told, yeah, I think we in our by and by right now. What, I told Mama earlier because we was talking about some stuff that she said when we were young. I said, Mama, no, you always just tell me I understand it better by and by. But I said, baby, I think I'm in my by and by because I'll understand it better now. Child, this this society is get old. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So look, as you can see. 
that turkey is now fully cooked. You see some of that fat in there, but that's gonna, it's gonna, it's all gonna render. Just like the song say, what shall I render? Mm -hmm. I think that's what it's saying. Not that's what it's saying. Okay. So, one difference that I like to do versus the recipe, the recipe gonna tell you to put all your liquids and stuff in there first. I like to go ahead and put my seasons in there so that seasoning can get good incorporated on that meat, um, on that turkey, on that ground turkey meat, and so it can be all nice incorporated in that with some vegetables. And then, after that, then I like to add in my um, my liquids so they can be liquefied. Mm -hmm. Oh, that smells so good already. Y'all got smell of vision Just smell it. Just take a second. Smell it through it. the camera. Just smell it. It smells so good. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. This Lord be a fence all around me. And this plate. Each and every day. You know, if you want, you can take this and stuff in the make you empanada. Mm-hmm, right there. But we I was not. looking at this like, this look like some Hispanic. It, child, this, what this really look like, this look like, uh, it halfway look like Sloppy Joe mix. Oh, I ain't had that long time either. I kind of forgot Sloppy Joe's existed. That was really, baby, that was when your money was funny and you just needed something real quick. You get mm. you a little pack of ground meat, mm. that little Sloppy Joe mix and a little cheap pack of buns from the Walmart. Mm. And you throw that thing together, okay. and you will know you wouldn't judge. <laughs> you know what you said? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, um, <laughs> after you got that incorporated, what you want to add is you want to add a uh, a can of diced tomatoes. Child, I got the almond brand because it's all the same and this one was cheaper. Um, but a 14.5 ounce can, you want to add that and its juices. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to add um, a can of tomato sauce, a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. Add it in there and tell it if you was raised like I raised. Yeah, you know what to do. They still got, they still you got some stuff in there. Okay. So what you, what you going to do is you're going to take you some water. Swish it Swish it on good on around in there. See? Mm -hmm. now that's a, see, that ain't even clean. Mm -mm. You gotta, like Julius from Everybody Has Chris would say, I mean, that's three cents worth of tomato. Hello. That's you call a clean can. Um, and then you're gonna add the rest of the water. So in total, you're gonna add um, about a, a cup and a half to two cups of water. I'm gonna go ahead and add two cups because I did have a lot of vegetables in there. You wanna mix this really well. And as you can see, we have the beginning of our chili. Now from here, all you're gonna do is um, let this come to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, you're gonna simmer it for about um, 45 minutes and let it thicken and let it all marry. Um, and plus now at this point, your turkey is fully cooked so you can taste it for seasoning. I'm gonna let mine cook down for about 10 to 15 minutes before I taste it for seasoning. Then I'll go from there. So let this come to a boil, then I'll let it simmer. And then after those 45 minutes, we'll have us some chili. It's real quick and easy. And, <coughs> and as you can see, it, it'll feed the multitude, just like Jesus with them two fishes and them five loaves. Yes, I said fishes. Okay? So go ahead and pour your glass of wine. I need a glass. In 45 minutes, we'll have our chili. And um, we'll let the word do the work. Amen. We're back soon. All right, you guys. So as you can see, our chili has now come to a burl. Mm -hmm, yes, I said burl. Anyway, so it's come to a boil, and I'm just going to give it a, <clears throat> a quick stir. And then I'm going to reduce the heat to a, uh, to a, a simmer or a moderate bubble. Um, I'm also going to take this opportunity to just give it a little quick seasoning taste. Mm, let me see what I'm working with so far. Ooh, yes, God, we thank you. Mm -hmm. But I can already tell that's gonna need a little more seasoning. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more seasoning. I'm gonna add me some Tony, a little more chili powder, a little more cumin, mm, a, a tad bit more salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that and I'm gonna let this simmer. And we gonna see y'all in about 45 minutes to see how this tastes. All right. All right, you guys, so it's been, it's actually been longer than 45 minutes. It's been closer to an hour because I had to work on getting them seasonings just right. So, um, like I said, I had to add more stuff in there. I added some Tony's, I added some extra onion powder and garlic powder and stuff like that. So this is the consistency that I'm working with that I like. Um, 
If you want your chili to be a little bit thinner, just add more water. If you want it to be a little bit thicker, just let it cook down a little bit or add less water. And that's it, that's your chili. So um, we're gonna plate some up and taste it for y'all guys. For you guys, do a little taste test or whatever, show y'all what toppings we like. And we're gonna give y'all our honest opinion. But at the same time, I know it's gonna be good. Why? Cause I made it, duh. All right, you guys, so I'm back. Maya is not feeling well, so I think she went to lie down, but I'm about to try this chili. As y'all saw, I like, so personally, this may be controversial. I don't know how y'all like to to, uh, to top y'all chili, but I like to put some sour cream. I love to put avocado on there for some reason, some cilantro and some red pepper flakes. So I'm about to get into this. Ooh, first, let me, let me pray. Dear Father God, first and foremost, I thank you for this day, Lord God. I thank you for this opportunity to make this video, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, for each and every person that watches this video, God. I pray, Lord, that you would just touch each and every one of them. God, I pray that you would let this food nourish my body, and I pray your blessings over this channel, Lord God. I pray that whomever it may reach, Lord God, that you would just touch them in a special way. And it's in your name I do pray. Amen, amen, amen. All right, y'all. So I'm going in for the bite. Mm. Ooh. Yes, Lord. Y'all, that is so good. Like, get into that. I don't know if y'all can see it. Like, I can see it. Oh, it all fell. But y'all, it's so good because the chili is spicy and the sour cream and the avocado just balance it out perfectly. And mm, the cilantro just gives it like an extra little. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Y'all, this is. Make this chili. If y'all don't make nothing else that that that, that we'd have made, make this here. All right. Mm. Here come Maya. You wanna come taste her? She can come taste you. Yeah. Come taste. You want a little avocado or you don't want avocado? You want sour cream? It's her taste buds. I mean, just taste it here. <laughs> it's how she grabbed her own bowl for me. But y'all, look, we're gonna go on and get off this camera so we can enjoy this chili the way we really want to. Um, I'm telling y'all, please make this chili. It is so good. Before you go, make sure you like this video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. If you are new to our channel, welcome to the Takeover Gang. We thank you for watching this video all the way through. We have new content for y'all every Tuesday and Thursday, and you don't wanna miss it. We'll be back with y'all soon. Bye.